In this session of Python Code Snippets, we're going to be looking at the if-then-else statement. So this is following on from previous tutorial looking at the if-then, with a focus on the if-then-else statement, and there'll be another video to come to look at the elif statement in Python. One of the things we need to do is look at the anatomy of the if-then-else statement. It's made up of a condition, so if condition, and that condition is a Boolean expression. So if that condition is true, it does the true part, the green bit, then do this. So if x is equal to y, then it will do the green part. If x is not equal to y, therefore the condition is not true, it does the blue part, which is the else part. So to give you a better idea, we have three components. We have the condition, the true, and the false. So if we have a Boolean test like is x greater than y, if the answer is true, it does the then part. But if x is not greater than y, then it will do the else part. You remember from the previous tutorial about Boolean expressions, x is greater than y, x is greater than or equal to y, x is less than y, etc. And once again, remember the crocodile eats the greater one. So let's have a look at the if then else structure in action. Let's create a password checker. So this program is just going to check a password to see if it's correct or not. To do this, we're going to have a look at the pseudocode first. We need to set the password. So we could actually set that to like Marsden. Then we need to get the password from the user. From this, we can use the if then else statement. So if the password is equal equal to user password. So the password is from the first line of code where we set the password and user password is the one that the user enters. And in Boolean algebra, we use two equal signs to do a comparison. Are these the same? Now, if they are the same, so the two usernames match up, we'll tell the user access. So we'll display that on screen. So from the Boolean condition, password equal equals user password, because they were both the same, it results true and does the then part. So if they mistype the password and they don't match, then it will result from the Boolean condition false. And then we'll do the else part, which is wrong password. So you can see based upon the result from the Boolean condition, password equal equals user password. If it's true, it does the first part, the then. If it's false, then it does the else part. So let's have a look at this in action by using some Python programming. So we're going to start by creating a new Python file. So I'm going to right mouse click and go new and Python file. If you're not using this IDE, I'm using PyCharm. I'll put a link in the comments below to the PyCharm IDE. We're going to call this one password and click on OK. Now the first thing we're going to do is put in a developer comment and we're going to place our name in there. It's good developer principles and etiquette to put your name in your code. From here we're going to start by setting the password. So we're going to go password is equal to and then in quotes we're going to set what the password is and I'm just going to put Marsden in all in lowercase. You might want to actually apply the proper principles of creating a strong password but this will do for the time being. Now we want to get the user's password so we're going to ask the user a question so we're going to set the variable first user underscore password. I'm using pothole case which is all lowercase and spaces have an underscore. It's going to be equal to and then I'm going to get an input from the user. And then I'm going to ask the user to enter a password. Now before I go any further, I'm going to check my program. I'm going to right mouse click and go run password. You'll see in my password below, it's got enter your password and I can enter in here, Bob. And the program finishes because there's no processing. So that concludes the first part of it where I've set the password and collected the password from the user. If I want to see if I've collected the user password correctly, I can go print and then use a password. So when I run the program now, I enter a password like Bob and the output becomes Bob. So you can now see that I'm collecting and outputting the correct information from the variable. Now to get rid of that line, I can just put a hash symbol in and turns it into a comment, much the same as the developer comment up here, and the program won't run this now. What I want to now use is the if then else statement. So I'm going to go if password is equal equal 
to user pass it. Now the reason for using equal equals, that runs the comparison, are these two the same? Where a single equal sign assigns, so the result gets put into here. So if I use one equal sign, I will get an error because it'll be trying to put user password into password. At the end of the condition, you need to put a colon. So it has the two dots. So if password equals user password, press enter. So this is our condition. We can then do the then part. Now the then part runs automatically after the colon. So we can go print access granted. And let's test that now. So right mouse click and go run. Enter password, I'm just gonna put Marsden. Access granted. If I run the program again and put Bob, nothing happens because there's no else part yet. To do the else part, I just type in else, colon, and then I can go print incorrect password. So if this is not true, I should get told incorrect password. So the right mouse click and run. First time through, I'll do it right. And you can see the access has been granted. If I run the program again and I do it wrong this time and put the password as Bob, incorrect password. So you can see from the Boolean condition, the true part when they're correct or the else part when they're incorrect. So if you found this tutorial useful, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python programming tutorials.